Today, the U.S. Supreme Court heard oral arguments in a case challenging how the Biden administration is enforcing its immigration laws. The state of Texas arguing now that the administration is picking and choosing who to deport. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Anna Warnicke explains. Lawyers representing the state of Texas told the nine Supreme Court justices that the way the Biden administration enforces immigration laws puts the people of Texas in danger. A specific alien, Ruben Abanza, who specifically had a detainer placed on him. That detainer was removed, he was released, and then he was reapprehended for committing human trafficking. But the Biden administration is standing by Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas's 2021 memo, which says that DHS doesn't have the resources to apprehend and deport all of the more than 11 million non-citizens currently living in the U.S. And that means we wouldn't have the resources or ability to go after those individuals who are threats to public safety, national security, and border security. The administration's top Supreme Court lawyer says DHS lacks the needed funding and resources for universal enforcement. Conservative Justice Brett Kavanaugh pushed back. There are never enough resources or almost never enough resources to detain every person who should be detained, arrest every person who should be arrested. But Justice Elena Kagan focused her questions on if Texas was entitled to bring the case forward in the first place. We're creating a system where a combination of states and courts can bring immigration policy to a dead halt. The court is expected to issue its ruling by the end of June. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.